Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep project folders organized in Reaper. Now, if you're like me, you like to keep your projects very organized. It'll make it easier to find them and find the version you want to use. So luckily, it's not that hard to do in Reaper, but let me show you. But first I want to mention, if you're ever in a situation where you want to back up the project you're working on, I have a project in front of me here with a drum loop, a piano, and a synth, and I'm not sure where the audio is on my hard drive. The easiest thing to do is to save as. So go to the file menu right up here and choose Save Project As. Then you want to find where you want to save it. I'm going to save it to a folder called Reaper Projects. Give it a name. And very important, go down here and check the checkbox, create subdirectory for project. And also this one here, copy all media into project directory. That's going to copy everything in your project, all the audio, media, whatever, into one folder. The folder we're creating right here called Save Project 1. So let's save that. And it creates a folder right here with all the media and everything else we need. Let's open it up. We have our audio files right here. I have my drum loop, my piano, and my synth. But you'll also notice there's some peak files, one for each. And that can make our folder very cluttered or messy. The peak files being what we're seeing right here. Reaper creates these files so we can see what our waveforms look like. Those are the peak files. So the first thing I'd recommend is changing a preference for our peak files. Let's go to the preferences in the options menu, right down here. And let's go down to media. And there's an option right over here which will put our peak files in a peak subfolder. If you're dealing with a lot of audio files, this is really helpful because it can get very cluttered in this folder if we have a lot of audio files and their peak files. So we want to put these in separate folders to make them neater. Let's go back to our preferences and we'll choose the option right here. And we'll save it. And now if we save the project, it's going to create a folder for the peak files. Save project as. Again, we're going to save it choosing these two options with these two checkboxes. But let's save it as project two to see if the folder looks neater. Here's the project we just saved, and it's a little bit neater. We have a Reaper project file right here, our audio right here, and then a folder called peaks, with all the peak files right in there. Now, if you don't want the peak files in each folder, you could choose a different option. Instead, go to paths over here and choose the option over here to store all peak files in a separate path. And you can create the path right here by browsing, and then all your peak files will be in a separate folder and not your project folder. But I personally prefer to keep them all organized in the project folder. So we're going to make sure we choose the option right here to put new peak files in a peaks subfolder. But if we have a lot of audio files, this folder can still get very messy. Let's add a few more by recording to this vocal track. And you can see very quickly, this folder can get very cluttered with a lot of files. So I'd recommend is going to project settings in Reaper, go to the file menu and choose project settings, and go over here to media and type in the name of a folder, which will be a subfolder where we can store the audio files or our media files. I'll name it audio, or audio files, or media. Hit OK. And now if we save this, save project as, we'll save it as project three, hit the checkboxes. Now if we go to project three, it looks like this. With the Reaper project file by itself and an audio folder. If we open the audio folder, all the audio or media files are in here with a separate folder just for the peaks. 
keeping the whole thing a lot more organized. But everything is still here. So if we want to back this up to a separate hard drive, we can just back up this folder. This folder right here. But we could still make it a bit neater. One thing we don't notice here is there's no backup files created yet. We'll start to see those if we keep saving this. Let's hit save. See right here? Here's the new main file, and here's the backup file. It's going to automatically create a backup file every time we hit save. And it's going to replace the previous one. So if I keep hitting save, it's going to replace the previous one and save the old one to the backup file. Here's the new one, and here's the backup file, or the previous file that we previously saved. But sometimes you want to keep more backup files. Let's go back to the preferences. If we go down over here to Project, over here we could adjust how we save backup files. By default, these two are on, so it's going to overwrite the previous backup file and create a new backup, which is what I just showed you. But many times, we want to keep more of those backup files, just to be safe. If we choose the option here, Timestamp Backup, every time we hit Save in Reaper, it's going to create a new file here, and it's going to timestamp it. See right here? Every time I hit save, it creates a new backup file that's timestamped. So once again, this folder is getting messy. So what I recommend instead, instead of choosing this option, choose this option over here. Keep multiple versions. It'll still keep multiple backups, but it'll put them all in one file. Let me show you. Let's save as again. We'll name this. Project 4, open this one up. Again, it looks nice and neat with the audio in its own folder, the peak files in their own folder, and just the project file neatly out here. And now if I hit Save in Reaper, it creates that backup file just like before. But watch what happens if I save many times. If you look at the file size, for the backup, it keeps getting bigger. 64, 72. So it's creating backups inside this file. And if you want to see them, just double click it, and we can see the timestamp for each one of them. Just choose the one you want to refer to and load that one. But they're all nice and neat in this one uncluttered file. So our project folder is a lot easier or simpler to navigate. But this is only affecting what happens when we hit save manually. But there's also autosave. Let's go back to our preferences. And down over here is where we can choose autosave. By default, it's set to 15 minutes. Let's change it to one minute just so we can see the results a lot quicker. We could save to a timestamp file in the project directory, which again is going to be messy. So instead, let's choose the option here. Save the timestamp file in an additional directory. And we can keep it relative to our project. So let's type over here, auto backup. And that's going to create a folder just for the auto backup project files. Let's hit OK. And notice what happened. It created another folder right here for the auto backup. So our project file, our backup for manual saves, and auto backup for the automatic backup files which is going to save based on our preference, which is set to one minute right now. So it's going to create a new backup file every minute, or whatever you set this preference to. So the auto backup files will all wind up in this one folder, keeping this entire project folder a lot neater and less cluttered, as these files and these files are all much deeper in the subdirectory. Now I should mention one other thing. Everything we've done so far in the preferences is going to stay that way from project to project. The ones over here for our saving, and down over here for our media and our peak files. But the project settings are based on project. So they're going to be different on every project unless we change this one setting. Let's go to our project settings right here. And if we go to media, here's the folder we created for our audio. Or media. If you want this folder in every project, just go down over here 
and choose Save As Default Project Settings. And then every new project you create will have that folder. Make a new project tab, and it should already be there for those project settings. Just like that. So it's automatically going to create the audio folder here and the auto backup folder, keeping the project folder less cluttered and more organized. So that's pretty much it. That's keeping project folders organized in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.